Good morning, friends. It's nice to be back again and doing this daily devotional. I'm sorry that I missed a couple of days. I just was given a wonderful opportunity to participate with our Scapu Seventh-day Adventist School graduation. I was uh, uh, privileged to speak with them and also work with the little ones. I mean, I love that school and I love the, the little ones, the staff and the principal, most of all. But it's a wonderful and a wonderful blessing to be able to witness these precious little children that God has entrusted to our care. There was a story back in the day that a story of a preacher that circulated among the, what were known to be Christian educators, meaning to say our modern day family pastor. It was said that D.L. Moody had come back from a tent revival meeting where he reported that two and a half people were saved. That person kind of like said, you mean two adults and one child? D.L. Moody responded, no, 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 no. There's two children and one adult. You see, when you save a child, you save a life, a whole life. This is one reason why our, our school is so supportive in this ministry. We call it a ministry because we believe in Scapu Seventh-day Adventist School. The teachers and their mission, how dedicated they are in serving God and, and instilling in the hearts and minds of these precious children the message and the love of Jesus. There was one a child who said, I, I came to know Jesus when I was six years old. This has been narrated by one of the adults. He said that, that he came to know Jesus when he attended Vacation Bible School. And over the years, he said that I've found out that I'm not alone. I'm just one of many people who decided to follow Jesus as a child and one of the many people who came to know Christ as a result of Vacation Bible School. You see, friends, nearly 80% of people in our churches today decided to follow Jesus before age 18. And 50% decided to follow Jesus when they were 12 years old. In fact, it becomes exponentially rarer and exponentially harder for a person to decide to follow Christ after age 18. This really shouldn't surprise us, huh? Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for such belongs to the kingdom of heaven. Friends, Jesus wasn't just commenting on what adults need to do to enter the kingdom of heaven or even insight into what the kingdom of heaven is all about. Jesus was telling us, something fundamental about childhood. There is a season in a person's life when they are most open to learning what it means to trust in God. And you know this season? It's a season sometime between 4 and 14. This is why I believe in Christian education. I believe in supporting Scapus Adventist School and, and the Adventist education. You see, when people are more modable than they will ever be in that lifetime when they get to know Jesus between the age 4 and 14. It's when people are forming, forming their understanding of the world or their relationship or love of God. Church or friends, we should be intentional about ensuring that they get the right impression. What is rooted in the heart of a child is almost impossible to uproot in the life of an adult. I don't think this season is by accident. When God said, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. It's found in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. It is during this season we need to focus our efforts in helping people face their trust in God. Friends, 
how many adult problems would be solved if every preschooler who enter our Adventist school left knowing they have a Heavenly Father who loves them? Or what if every elementary child left knowing they can place their trust in Jesus for every area of their lives? What if everything we did for children focus on weaning them to Christ? Not just maintaining our, our buildings, our church buildings, or doing this, trying to, to uh, tighten our funds because we have to do this and that. No, I would rather invest my money on helping children. Reveal his truth and salvation. Jesus calls the little ones that believe on him the lamb of his flock. He has a special love for an interest in the children. Friends, and God bless you. Have a great day ahead. Bye for now.